Hey guys, today I'm going to show you guys how to make the best hamburger and french fries ever. We're going to be using roughly a two and a half pound cut of chuck roast. And the reason I'm using this cut is because of its exceptional marbling that it has. We are going to turn this chuck roast into the most beautiful and flavorful patties you've ever seen. Check this out. Just to add a little bit extra flavor to these hamburger patties, we're gonna add some bacon to it. So get you roughly ha a package of bacon, cut it in half, put it inside the freezer. This is important because you want this meat a little bit of semi-frozen. Now we can start assembling our grinder together, our meat grinder. Now, if you don't have a meat grinder, guys, just go get you a, just go get you some 80-20 hamburger meat. You should be fine. Uh, I like grinding my own meat because uh, just I can add that little extra touch to it. So putting together this uh, meat grinder, keep all the parts inside the freezer because they got to be nice and cold. And the temperatures here in Florida have been just crazy hot. So we got to work fast because heat is the enemy right here. And the heat will destroy the fat in the meat and it can spoil it. You got to work quick here. Get this meat ground up. Now, just to reemphasize this, guys, here's the reason why I picked this chuck roast. Just look at it. Just look at the marbling. Look at the fat. Look at the, the meat. It's just absolutely beautiful. The flavor is in the fat. Guys, you cannot go wrong with this cut of meat making it into hamburger. Get it cut up into nice little strips. And again, you want to make sure this meat is still semi-frozen while you're cutting it. Get it cut into strips where it can fit down the chute. Get Get your bacon out by this time your bacon's a little semi-frozen as well get it cut into the same sizes and we gotta work fast get this meat through the chute and get it ground up and here's what it turns out just look at it it's absolutely beautiful look at this beautiful fresh ground beef you can't go wrong with this so let's go ahead and start mixing our ingredients into our hamburger meat, guys. And let me emphasize at this point, you want to mix the ingredients in there. Don't beat your meat to death. M nice and mixed because you want this meat to be nice and fluffy. If you squeeze it too hard, it'll get too dense. You don't want that. So we're going to cut half of an onion, nice and diced. Uh, very finely. We're going to mince us some garlic, or if you got a garlic press, use a garlic press and uh, put maybe two cloves of garlic in, in, in this mix as well. Two teaspoons of Worcester sauce. We're also going to be adding some of our favorite uh, in ingredients when it comes to seasoning. Two teaspoons of JPAP and two teaspoons of sexy chicken. That's going to give it a nice added flavor uh, to our mix and if you're interested in some of these products go out and visit my webpage www.jp-bbq.com these are things that help support the channel add three quarter cup of your favorite blend of cheeses guys and again i emphasize mix your meat don't beat it okay because it's just gonna get too dense if you do that you want something nice and fluffy you want to shoot for about four to five ounces uh, for each one of these hamburger patties. And this mix and blend should yield you about 12 of them. And I guess if you really wanted to, if you wanted to change the recipe at this moment and you wanted to make you some uh, meatballs and spaghetti, you know, this is a perfect opportunity to do this. Check out these man-sized meatballs. Man, these look spectacular. They look fantastic. They're gorgeous. They are going to be delicious. In addition to that, go ahead and get you a uh, hamburger press if you got one. And if you ain't got a hamburger press, no big deal. Just use what you got. Okay, but I have a hamburger press and I'm going to use it. And here's what they came out like. These hamburger patties look beautiful. But I got 12 of them. What are you going to do with 12 hamburger patties? No worries. Eat what you're going to eat. Put the rest inside the freezer right next to the ice cream and save it for another day. So let's go ahead and get our garnishes ready. All we're going to be using is just tomato and lettuce. Plain old American style hamburgers. I'm not adding any cheese because remember, we put that three quarter cup of uh, shredded cheese inside of our blend. But feel free to add some if you like. Hey guys, here's the reason why we're doing these hamburgers inside. Just look at this horrendous grain. 
This is Central Florida for you. Just pour down in the afternoons. We're cooking inside the day. No way I could do these hamburgers outside. Just too much rain. So I broke out the large cast iron skillet on medium to high heat. You can fit about three of them in there at a time. And what you want to do, you want to shoot for about four minutes on, on each side of the of the hamburger. Or roughly till you see where it's getting cooked about halfway through the meat. Then you want to flip it, get the other side. And at this point, don't be scared to press on it. You know, just look at the juices just coming out of it. You know it's going to be good. Let's go ahead and get our hamburger built. Mayonnaise, ketchup, lettuce, tomato, hamburger patties. You're done. This is a video on making the best hamburger and french fries ever. I did not forget about the french fries. Here you go. What you want to do is get you about four large potatoes. Get them nice and peeled. And you want to start cutting them in halves. Cut them in half, then take that half and cut it in half. And then take that half and then cut it in half. Until you get about four fries out of each half. And this is about what you're looking for. And you want to put these fries in a container. Fill it with water, and what you're looking to do is to get that starch out of these fr french fries. And you want to leave them soaking for about 10 to 15 minutes. Once once that, drain the water, uh, put them on top of a cookie sheet, pat them dry, and uh, cook what you're going to cook. If, if you made more fries than what you're going to cook, put them in the freezer and store them for another day. Here's how you get the best french fries ever. What you want to do is start off with your skillet with some canola oil and get the temperature up to about 300, 325. Get your fries in there for about two to two and a half minutes. Take them out and crank the temperature up on your, your oven till your oil hits roughly 400 degrees. Put them back in and they're going to get nice and crispy. Golden brown is what you want. Garnish them up with a bit of kosher salt and you're done with your fries. This is how you make the best hamburger ever and french fries. This looks absolutely fantastic and super delicious. It's time to wrap this video up and eat. I'm ready to eat, guys. Let's cut into it and see what it's uh, all about. Got this nice little brioche bun. Got some nice lettuce, hamburger bun. There we go. Look at that. Oh, yes, sir. Just look at that. That is a gorgeous looking hamburger right there. Let's give it a bite. Mmm. Mmm. Oh my God. That is so good. Guys, the flavor is in the fat. You make these hamburgers nice and greasy, they're going to come out fantastic. I mean, really good. And then that bacon, that added bacon in the mix, mm, really good. I can give me another bite. Mm. And juicy. Let's give these french fries see what they're all about. Here we go. I'm gonna dip them in some ketchup. Mm. Mm. They've been sitting here for a little bit, so the crunchiness is kind of going away, but you can still bite down into it and you feel it. Here you go, watch it. Yeah. Yeah. Just gorgeous looking french fry. Mm. Love it. I'm going to go ahead and let you guys go. I'm going to finish this hamburger. But I want to thank you guys for watching this video. I appreciate you guys very much. I want to thank my patrons. Uh, I got Ben Lee, Maria Baldera, Sam Santos, uh, Leticia Vallejo, uh, Billy Walsh, and Brian Gutierrez. If you guys like these kind of videos and you're interested in uh, uh, supporting or sponsoring uh, a video, feel free to uh, look up my Patreon account. I'm going to put a link for it right here, and it'll pop up right there in the corner. You know, guys, go out there and check it out. Another way that you can help support the channel 
go out there and visit my website where I sell my barbecue uh, products. Those things also help uh, support this channel. I will talk to you guys later. Have a wonderful day and take care.